With Fortnite becoming a viral sensation, breaking too many video game records to even count, it's no surprise that there are some clips that just about everyone's seen. That includes your dog. If you haven't seen any of the videos on this list, you should definitely consider because they're the 10 most viewed Fortnite Twitch clips of all time. Welcome back to Top 5 Gaming, everyone, where today we're going to be watching some of the most iconic Fortnite clips you've ever seen. Starting with this clip of me hitting the furthest snipe ever. Yes, yeah, so uh, clearly this is in fact me in this clip you're gonna see right here. I uh, see that guy all the way over there. And at this point in time, I know that I'm gonna hit this shot. Like there's no reason I wouldn't. So uh, as you can see, I just destroy him. No further explanation necessary. And no, I didn't just draw my name over top of someone else's clip and cross their name out. How could you even say such a thing? But hey, if you like the video and subscribe, you'll accomplish your New Year's resolution. And if you don't, you'll have five years of bad luck. I wouldn't risk it. Also, here's today's clip of the day. If you want to be featured, upload your video to YouTube, then submit your clips to top5gamesclips at gmail.com. Just a second. I love her. I love this so much. <laughs> if you, if you, wait, wait, guys, if you like tilt your camera out into the water, you can see what's there. Oh, you can donate them. You can donate them now. You can go. Yeah, I'm waiting. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Number 10. Welcome to my humble abode. There's a whole load of awesome ways to close out of a game of Fortnite Battle Royale, but none of those ways are as stylish and as funny to watch as a trap tower of death. For those of you that don't know, a trap tower is essentially a one by one construction where you build up a whole bunch, place a load of traps inside, and then put a jump pad at the bottom. Killing someone in this way is a matter of your enemy running into the tower after you and the jumping onto jump pad below without noticing that there's all those traps ready and waiting above them. With over 230,000 views, Cypher PK's speedy trap tower build and last kill around three months ago shows off the power of a trap tower pretty well, and it's seriously impressive just how quick he manages to construct that thing. It was like he had a trap tower port -a fort or something. Look how fast I build my tra my trap tower now. It's like it's like an art at this point, you know. trap tower number nine welcome home speaking of port forts they can be the perfect weapon to easily take someone out if they aren't expecting it now of course you can't take someone out with just a port fort alone they don't do any damage but quickly throwing one down can disorient your enemy enough that if you manage to catch them in it death can be pretty much certain in this clip which has now been viewed over 230,000 times in the space of a month chance is being chased by an enemy with a shotgun He's already pretty low, so instead of facing the guy head on, he traps him with a port -a fort Before the guy even realizes what's going on, Chance had thrown some grenades down into the hole and blocked it off with a wooden floor so the guy couldn't jump up with the tires on the bottom. It was a pretty effective and unexpected way to get a kill, but if it works, it works. Number 8. Don't touch the green screen. If there's one thing that you should never do to a streamer, it's touching their green screens. Not only do they cost a lot of money, but they take a long time to set up, and if they're messed up, it can impact the quality of a stream greatly. But the kids don't exactly understand the values of money or stream quality, which is why this clip between Pyreon Flax and his daughter is so funny and has been watched by over 230,000 people. Pyreon and his daughter are having a conversation where she decides to bang on the green screen which immediately sets her dad off. He tells her not to bang on the green screen because it costed even more than she did, which is a pretty harsh thing to say to a kid, but don't worry, because the kid hits straight back, saying that she totally costs more than the green screen does because he pays for all of her food and stuff like that. It's a pretty cute moment between a dad and his kid, and I guess a whole bunch of other people thought so too. No, 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 because listen, don't... Here. Don't bang the green screen. Sorry. It costs more than you did. Please. <laughs> oh, cost you exactly. You're free. Actually, that I costs do, money. I do cost you. Not 
You you have an ongoing you, you've upkeep. You've got to feed me and stuff. I don't have to feed you. Yes, I you feed you do. out of the kindness of my heart. Number seven, Dr. Cheats. If you don't know the story of Dr. Disrespect cheating on his wife by now, then you've probably been living under a rock because it was pretty big news when it happened. Either way, when Dr. Disrespect came back to streaming after he had sorted all of his family drama out, people still wanted to make fun of him for it. I mean, come on, it's the internet, right? A guy called Dr. Cheats on wife was following Dr. Disrespect along from game to game trying to kill so he could get his funny name online. And this clip has since managed to get over 250,000 views. And in it, Dr. Disrespect pretty much freaks out about the constant stream sniping. Considering stream sniping is actually against Fortnite's rules, it's safe to say this guy has probably been banned by now. Hey, I made it! I did it again! I did it again! <laughs> I did it again! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Screenshot it, dude! Screenshot it! God. Number six, hotline bling emote confirmed? Ninja playing Fortnite with Drake was huge news when it happened for the first time. It broke records on Twitch and got Ninja and Fortnite international acclaim as the hot new thing online. Drake is actually a huge fan of Fortnite, and during one of his streaming sessions with Ninja, he talked about how he really wants the hotline bling dance to be in the game. In fact, the exact words Drake used when he talked about the hotline bling dance being added to the game as an emote was when, not if, but when, as if he talks about the emote having already been made and the work is already happening to put it in the game. I mean, considering how much Drake likes Fortnite and how many fans he has, Epic Games would be dumb not to work on him with it. But either way, over 278,000 people have watched this clip and we're all wondering. Hotline bling confirmed? Hey. Beats actually sick. Murder murder Beats sampled Fortnite the other night. It was so funny that the intro song. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Dude, you gotta... I mean, I, you gotta put some Fortnite lingo. I... In the album, nah, man. Just someone, something. It, it has to happen. It's just got to be the right way. I someone's going to do it. Someone's going to pull it out. Absolutely. I say when Epic gives me the emote, like, when Epic gives me the hotline bling emote, I'll do it. But until then, I'm, I'm on, I'm on show. Boy, yes. I love it. <laughs> I've been at, dude, I told them after our first session, even before, I was like, you guys need this hotline bling. They need to make, like, all the, like, super relevant, like, they need to do the shoot dance. They need to do, like, the Uzi shoulders. Like, they need to just do, like... All the dances that we could get, man. I don't know what they're on. They're, they're taking... Number five, self rocket ride. When the guided missile rockets were first added into Fortnite Battle Royale, there was one thought on basically everyone's mind. Could you use the missile to rocket ride yourself? Rocket rides were a pretty high level play before the guided missile was added and needed the coordination and skill of two players to pull off. In other words, it was totally impossible to do it in solo, but then it turned out if you timed and aimed the rocket right, you could actually pull out of the control view and then jump straight onto your own rocket. And that changed the game of rocket riding basically forever. One person who didn't really get it down straight away was TSM Myth, as shown in this clip, which has now been viewed by over 286,000 people. Number four, disrespect my wife. When the news about Dr. Disrespect's cheating cleared up and he got back into the world of streaming where there were a ton of people out to show him up on stream, they stream sniped him as much as they could and tried to kill him as often as possible. This clip has been viewed by over 400,000 people on Twitch and it's literally just a clip of Dr. Disrespect in a shotgun battle with a guy who eventually kills him. The only difference about this fight, the guy that killed him was called disrespect my wife. Dr. Disrespect was clearly pretty annoyed about what had happened, probably both because of the stream snipe and because people were still digging and what was most likely an incredibly fresh issue. Wow! Are you kidding me? Huh? Are you kidding me? Number three, we first started learning about rocket rides around six to seven months ago when the rockets had big pumpkins on the front of them. I mean, they just looked like they'd be perfect to ride. So people tried it out and it turned out that you could just hop right on them. 
This clip from Sacriel had been viewed over 607,000 times since it was first uploaded six months ago, and shows an awesome rocket ride play from Sacriel and Jack Frax. Jack launches him straight up at another team, and Sacriel manages to get one of them with a moving sniper shot, and the other with some assault rifle shots. Unfortunately for Sacriel, this patch still had team damage on, so when that rocket exploded, he exploded too. Is that like there? Are... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, there. Go quick. Ready? Oh, no, go, go! Oh! Yes. <laughs> oh! The I saved one! one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 100% worth it. 100% worth it. Dear Lord. <laughs> About a month ago, shotguns were totally busted. Not in the way that they were seriously good or anything. We all know that shotguns are seriously good, but at this point in time, they were super unreliable. Like, you could literally shoot a guy at point-blank range in the head and land all of your pellets, but it would still only do 95 damage or something crazy like that. This was highlighted in a clip by a streamer, Kaugi, when she managed to grab a blue pump shotgun before a guy who landed on the same building as her. Instead of running away and trying to grab another gun, the guy just danced on the spot waiting for death to come, and Kogi or Kaugi, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, walked up to him aimed her shotgun straight at the guy's head, and literally only did 95 damage. I'm pretty sure this glitch has been patched by now, especially considering over 715,000 people have seen it. I'm gonna say that the whole stream. Number one, heartwarming. You were probably expecting the most viewed Fortnite clip on Twitch to be some sort of epic troll, right? Well, you're actually totally wrong because the most viewed Fortnite clip on Twitch with over 779,000 total views is one of the most heartwarming and wholesome things that I've probably seen come out of this game. Nate Shot was playing with one of his fans and the kid sounded like he was probably 10 or 11 years old or something like that. He was really young. They managed to make it to the last three duos alive and then they were suddenly taken out by a bunch of bullets and grenades coming from basically every direction. They got sandwiched. It doesn't matter who you were, there was no surviving that attack. The kid seemed really down about the loss, claiming that he held Nate Shot back because he was a pro and he had played with Ninja, so he's really good, and that Nade Shot had probably won if he had played with someone else, but Nade Shot didn't want to hear this kid blaming himself, so instead, he told him that he'd actually done really good and that they'd come really far together before jumping straight back into another game. A touching moment indeed, just like that one time that I saw that loot llama from a distance away. I knew that that llama was the one for me. Oh man, I'm sorry dude, I tried my best. There were so many people on us. That was my fault. No, it wasn't your fault. We just ran into so many people at one time. That wasn't anybody's fault. No, I dragged you down because you're like a pro and I'm just like this noob. No, no, that wasn't it at all. We, we could have won that. We got really far together. That was great. But I'm trash and you played with ninja and stuff. No, no, dude. Come on, man. It's not like that. We don't... We're, me and you were just having fun. We could have won that. You did a great job that entire time. Oh. I, huh. I promise you did. Okay. Thank you. But that has been our list of the top 10 most viewed Fortnite Twitch clips of all time. Make sure to click that like button and subscribe to the channel so you accomplish your New Year's resolution. And more importantly, so that you don't get five years of bad luck. Also, be sure to check out our other channel, Top 5 Central, in the description below. Have a fantastic day, everybody. And keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.